Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now then, uh, something a bit different really. Uh, it's not a something a bit different video. However, it is a bit off topic of what I've been doing in uh, past reviews. Uh, it's been a while really. Uh, however, I've got a review of a game. It's been a while since I've done a game review. And uh, it is Saints Row 4. My friend lent me this game the other day. And uh, yeah, finally got around to playing it. So guys, here's my review of Saints Row 4. Hope you like it. Right. So straight away, Saints Row 4, it is the latest one in the franchise. Obviously, fourth means that there's been three previous games before it. For some reason, I couldn't understand this. I am, I was playing it off uh, PS3. I don't know if this has happened before. However, uh, there was an eight-minute installation, and I have no idea why it just installed it onto my PlayStation for absolutely no reason. Um, I mean, it made the sound go a bit funky and a bit crackly. However, random eight minute installation of the game. Once the game is installed, uh, it took you straight to the main menu. This is where you decided, uh, well for me anyway, it was the campaign. I went straight onto the campaign and what sort of mode I wanted. Uh, I selected the casual mode, there was casual, normal and extreme. I've played previous Saints Row games, however, I wanted to start off a bit basic and work my way into the game. We are then welcomed by a guy who looks like Halo's Master Chief. He's sat on a throne, the girl's voice narrating, and uh, this girl's voice, she sounds like the Red Queen, uh, the little girl Red Queen from Resident Evil. So Master Chief sat on a throne, and uh, yeah, you got a bit of a creepy girl's voice narrating a bit of a story. So then, after you see Master Chief on his uh, big seat, there's a cutscene, and it takes you to a helicopter. And uh, in this helicopter, there's Shandy from previous Saints Row games, uh, there's a guy whose communications can't work for some reason. Uh, this is probably just the introduction um, of your character, really. They've done it in previous films before, and also in games. While you're in the helicopter, you've got a destination. This destination is the desert, and a terrorist camp, really. Uh, you've got to go in and destroy the terrorist. Simple, really. It's in the desert. Simple little mission really, I mean I didn't know this, I knew it at once I had completed it. Um, but all you've got to do is have a gun and you've got to get to the comms room. Simple as that really. Anybody who comes up, it's the simple basic walkthrough. Uh, aim is L1, shoot is R1. Simple as that really. This bomb, so you need to get to the comms room and this bomb just happens to be uh, heading into outer space. Uh, this, like I said, uh, Previously, I didn't know this was really the first mission. Oh, it was a bit random. However, it is the first mission, really, of uh, Saints Row 4. I was a bit confused about it, uh, but, okay, fair enough, I guess. Including the rocket ship jumping off it and Aerosmith playing. A bit confusing. So, once you've done the mission, you've jumped off the spaceship that's heading into space, uh, and Aerosmith plays, you then get to customise your character. So, this is good about Saints Row. Um, every time there has been a Saints Row game, you've also had the, a good selection, really, uh, to customise your character. Here with your character, the customisation, you get multiple different taunts. Uh, there's a compliment taunt, which has its own different sort of sections. Uh, I know you're probably looking at 30 or 40, maybe, of uh, different taunts for compliments. Obviously, the positive and all the same negative taunts. Um, You've probably got the same amount, really. You've got an awful lot of uh, taunts to choose from, really, to uh, be a negative taunt. So many different hairstyles and colours. Uh, voices as well, if I haven't said it. I also go for the English voice uh, I have done on previous Saints Rows. You can make your character into a man or a woman. You can have uh, the character be 100 years old with no sex appeal, or be 25 years old with... 100% sex appeal. So there is uh, a vast difference of uh, attractiveness, should I say, really. Uh, so as the president, you walk into a conference and a uh, big long corridor, you're going all through the White House, and as you go down this corridor, uh, you get the choice. You can either cure cancer or you could solve world hunger. Now, personally, I chose to solve uh, cancer. Along the way, as you go into the conference room, uh, you see some familiar faces and you hear some familiar voices. These are also from previous Saints Row games. This is in the conference room. This is where the game gets a bit interesting. It has the introduction of the bad guy, uh, an alien race called the Zen. They are ugly in a, in a manner. Uh, they're very big, they're tall, they're 
fatter and bulkier. <clears throat> However, this doesn't stop your Saints Row character trying to fight one of them. Uh, personally, I don't want to spoil the story of the Saints Row 4 too much, really. I don't want to give too much away. However, an alien race has come down to Stillwater as you're the president. And, well, they want to make your life hell, really. And, uh... Obviously, you have to fight against the aliens. So it's almost a Independent Day-style game. Um, Stillwater is taken over by aliens. It's certainly interesting. It's certainly different. Um, I can't remember the last time a game got overtaken by aliens with mass customization of a main character, including having an English voice, which is awesome, by the way. But Saints Row 4 is very random. It's fun. It is slapstick. Entertaining with adult comedy and uh, adult naughtiness, really. The game has twists and turns from the very start, really. Uh, from the very beginning, there's always twists and turns, and uh, Saints Row 4 does not fail to deliver on the twists and turns. Uh, I don't think, personally, I don't think Saints Row 4 is the greatest game out there. But it is fun from start to finish. Um, I mean, having like the superpowers, that's. The, I don't think that's a spoiler. However, you do get superpowers due to certain reasons of the environment of still water, which I will leave as a surprise. That's a twist and turn. It's not the greatest game out there. However, it is entertaining. Like with the superpowers and with the aliens, you you can't go in thinking it's going to be a serious, proper game. It's an entertaining game that's slapstick and naughty and adult humour. Um, it's, it's just a fun game, really. Like I did mention, I only borrowed uh, Saints Row 4 off my friend, however, I do want to buy a copy myself, so I wasn't put off just by my friend lending it to me. If you have played previous Saints Row games, then obviously Saints Row 4 is a must for you. Personally, uh, if you want to play Saints Row 4, I would start from previous Saints Row games. This is, in my opinion, so that you can get to grips with the characters, uh, so previous characters that are in, that are in the game. Um, and also what Stillwater is all about, uh, then you know, get to grips with previous Saints Row games rather than jumping straight into Saints Row 4. Otherwise you might think it's got aliens in, it's a bit shit. You know? But Stillwater is explained, explain the characters as well. But really, uh, Saints Row 4 is a must for anybody who's played previous Saints Row games. Also if you're a fan, like I say, if you're a fan of previous games then you know, you're, you'll find this entertaining and uh, you'll understand the comedy aspect, really, of uh, the Saints Row previous games. This four, really, uh, you know what to expect, and uh, Saints Row 4 doesn't disappoint, really. I was entertained even in the short time that I played it. Well, really, guys, if you're a Saints Row fan, this is definitely worth picking up for you. Uh, thanks for watching my review of Saints Row 4. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, also, TobyWTD, use that promo code 20% off anything at all, guys. Uh, like I say, t-shirt, wristband, anything, all the links down below. Really guys, thanks for watching my review of Saints Row 4. Hope you enjoyed it.